Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you how to install and obviously I'm also going to review a Rengora, Rengora, something <laughs> dishwasher from IKEA. I think they are telling us here that this is a two-person job. So yeah, we will take that into consideration. What's up with this? Anyway, let's get this uh, off and remove all of the protection that remained around here and transport it in the correct corner. First thing that I noticed, there is a lot of uh, sound insulation here to prevent any uh, resonating frequencies and to make less noise overall, which is quite good. Now, in theory, I think we have the instructions somewhere inside of this thing and it seems to be latched in here with this for transport probably. So I'm going to use this to somehow pinch it and hopefully open the door, I'm guessing. Yeah, it seems that's, that's the way to do it. Weirdly enough, they didn't really tell you about this. So, do we have any instructions? A ton of instructions. So, let's get everything out. Okay, decided to make some changes. We are actually installing this right next to this. As you can see, done some modifications in here. This is not IKEA standard. Video will be linked in the description on how I modified all of these things uh, to fit this particular space. So at this point, we are just pushing this in its place. This is simulating the edge of a cabinet. Uh, and in the back, just you need to lift this thing right here. I said lift it. Left hand doesn't always play along like this. And you have uh, these three, your cable, water and uh, outlet connections. Okay, to adjust this thing, uh, front supports, you simply rotate them and they are adjusted almost, I probably need to lift it more. And for this, 8mm hex and to lift it from the back, you need to tighten it. As you can see, it's showing the arrow in that direction to go up and in this direction to go down. If somebody holds it up, it will go extremely easy, if not it will be a bit harder, but still goes. So now it's almost level, but probably we need to lift it even more to be at the same level as this thing. Doing a test fit with this thing, because as you know, I'm installing it where it shouldn't really be. So uh, I also added some spacers uh, in here. Uh, again, I had exactly 60 centimeters in here. But as you can see, a normal door isn't exactly up to the edge, but this would be exactly the edge. So I had the chance when opening this, it will actually scratch this panel. So I needed to make sure it's a bit to this side, added spacers on that side from some round plastic, basically, I don't know, five millimeters thick or something like that. So now I have a little bit of play to make sure when I adjust the door, it will not hit there and have a good space in here. And also I will have a bit of clearance all around this thing, just to make sure everything stays dry. So making the best of a weird situation that I actually put myself in. Now this will come out, I will glue the protection on top and put that plastic tray underneath it. I don't know if it's really 100% required, but whatever, I'm putting it there. This is the tray that will go under the washing machine, although this is not wood. So I'm not really sure if it's required or not, but hey, they sent it, I paid for it, so I'm using it for sure. Uh, this is the underside that also has the, the blue strips on it. So this shiny is the top, shiny part is the top part that goes at the back and this goes at the front. And now I'm just going to follow the steps to make an origami out of this thing. So let me get to it. And origami finished, the tray is done. 
obviously I made the uh, variant for um, a dishwasher yeah this is uh, similar for dishwasher, dishwasher and fridge but I made this to continue not this this you will do if you use this thing for a fridge I went a bit uh, further and also cut these things which are shown in this step right here and also put the plastic and now in theory I will just go remove the protection the white one and glue it onto the floor in that area and uh, then wait for everything to assemble and just as a final step uh, before putting uh, the, the front protection on all the furniture then I will peel this glue and cut trim out uh, what remains what sticks in front basically and in theory any water that goes in here will be directed through here and you will see you have an issue reality who knows but yeah again for this type of flooring i don't think this is necessary but i got it so let's use it okay officially this thing is a piece of crap because I cannot align it, the, it needs to be at the same level as the, the big round part from this feet. As you can see, where, where, where can you see? In here. So that's where it needs to be. And I cannot do that, obviously it's too much in front. Because I have this thing on the wall. So they didn't take into consideration that not everybody has the same wall configuration. Uh, so obviously just waited, uh, wasted a bunch of money and time bending this little piece of crap without any real use to it. And yeah, if if I try to, I don't know, lift it and put it in there, well, uh, the dishwasher has a foot right here in the middle. No bueno. So again, this is a piece of... Uh, crap and if you are not 100% required to have it by wood floor or, or something like that don't get it and if you have that on your wall it will not fit anyway uh, thank you IKEA for making me waste money because we don't give up when we don't waste money on this channel we bent this thing with about two centimeters shorter so in theory uh, now it should fit I'm doing this just not to create uh, waste. At this point, because I have this modification right here, I cannot uh, install this uh, front door on this thing uh, there because I don't have any access in this area that will be blocking it. Uh, again, this is not a standard installation. So I'm uh, installing the door now when this thing is out and then pushing it in with the door on it already to install it obviously i will be following this guide right here first thing cover the holes with this thing found the middle of my door drew a line cut these v's to the points where uh, where they show you glued this in place right in the middle with uh, the edge right on our edge here uh, and at this point marked the holes for our door type which is full uh, this is valid number two so these bigger ones and also these uh, smaller ones these four on both sides and these big ones right here and now uh, i will drill with a two millimeter bit maximum five millimeters don't poke right through the door itself and then uh, put the hinges in by using this uh, metal to align them actually not the hinges the plastic pieces themselves just a warning uh, the screws they provide you are a bit too long at least if you have doors with this type of channel I tried one of them really 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 slowly by hand and right at, at the end it was beginning to to bulge in here obviously I backed up and uh, nothing happened you cannot see any 
any traces of it, but uh, without being careful, yes, it would have uh, caused issues. And this is not covered in here. They do cover something for this type of door, where you actually need to use some screws which are much, much shorter. That one right there. But uh, those are only when you are using uh, basically other holes. Those ones right there at the edge. So for my type of door, uh, this is uh, the correct drawing, but the screws are, I don't know, half a millimeter, a millimeter too long. At least the ones that go directly in the channel, which means the bottom ones. The top ones go directly in this and can be left uh, untouched. So I will just file down the bottom ones a millimeter shorter. But just a warning, be careful about this. Installed all the hinges, or actually, yeah, they are some kind of slight hinges, let's say like that. These things, I think they adjust the door uh, on the vertical direction, whatever, but make sure uh, you put them correctly. There's a right one and the left one. So, almost did that wrong. Now I think I can put the door in here. Before putting in the door, you need to undo these plastic covers. They fo have four clips on the sides and top and bottom one. Undo the four ones, then put something underneath and pull it and those will release by themselves because this bends a lot. Once uh, we slid the door in place and it's in position now, we need to lock it with these things, one on each side. Really important warning, be extremely careful when you measure. We measured, we aligned, and this thing is still about two millimeters more, at least to this side, compared to this side. As you can see, I, we barely have one millimeter here, and much more in here. So, uh, this thing basically will be like that. And you cannot really adjust the door independent of the whole thing and the whole thing uh, it's fixed in there so yeah i this i hate it they should have included some adjustment for this direction hands down gluing the protection film in place don't let any gap between it and this protection plastic on your countertop and uh, yeah, here I need to cut like this and this part it will be glued in um, continuation in here. And this part will go down, uh, same with what I have here, part will go down and part I will try to directly push it in there. Or maybe I will actually go down with everything, Or although that won't work because it will be shiny and look weird. Anyway, this is a really crappy job. It, it is really annoying to do this, but anyway, it needs to be done. Being a smartest, I also bought this thing, which is another uh, type of protection. I thought it's a sheet metal. Well, it was, it was more sheet than metal. It's still the kind of a foil, chromed foil. Yeah, it's thicker than the other one, but as you can see, it's much narrower. So I put both of them. And this one, the chromed one, I also put in this area to protect a bit more even in this direction. And that's about that. Let, let's put this uh, dishwasher in place because I'm tired. Getting closer to finish. Everything is almost in place. I need to attach this grill right here with two of these screws, so let's get it done. Removed this thing from right here. Honestly, I don't know how you are supposed to remove it. This is just for transport. I pulled on it to the side and it unclipped from whatever is down there. Hopefully that's how you remove it. I didn't see anything in the manual about this thing. I will keep it safe. Hopefully I never need it for transport, but it will be there. For the moment I don't have uh, my uh, handle in here, so I'm pushing on this edge to make it 
pop out so I can grab onto it. Uh, I need to close up this tray now that the legs are in their uh, correct position. Everything seems okay in here. Put the plastic in the tray back here in the middle. And for the moment that's it. I will continue with other things in this furniture and then get back to this when I need to connect it to the water and uh, uh, outlet. I don't know if I told you I didn't use their uh, spacers because they were not long enough for what I needed. I again have my own plastic spacers uh, a bit lower, four of them, two on each side. So these ones eh, are just hanging in there, not doing absolutely anything. Forgot to tell you that I installed one screw here and one screw there. Uh, basically it's, it, hold it, it holds it in place so it doesn't move front to back but also uh, the legs are tightened to the max or extended to the max that this thing is pressing against the countertop so that also fixes it quite well. Don't forget to take out all the protections. These are for shipping not for washing dishes. Also these ones all around here. I think we have more in here. So, uh, yeah, you need to search all around for all the protections. If you want to see the model, here it is. Put this from the dishwasher in place. It entered really well and it seems to be uh, rubber. And I didn't have any clamp from the dishwasher, so I'm expecting this thing to be just a plug-in. What they were showing, uh, I don't even know where it was. It was just some random holes that you needed to, uh, to tighten in place. You can see here, something like this. But I don't have just a random hose, it's directly from an IKEA dishwasher. So I expect it to be just simple plug and play. And if I pull on this thing, this does not come out. I will just uh, buy uh, a clamp to attach it in here so it doesn't wobble around all the time but that I'm just doing because I want to not because it's actually 100% uh, necessary so now let me connect to water the dishwasher and uh, now I can connect this in here without actually affecting me for anything else and in theory I think no, this one doesn't have it. I, I saw online that some of them had a little spot that would warn you when this thing has gone off. Uh, this doesn't have it, so honestly for me, I don't think it matters uh, its orientation when I install it. And everything is done in here. Yes, this is not the best solution, but I wanted these things to stay put in there and when you rotate this thing, this is really, uh, I don't know, unbendable uh, hose. If I rotate it here, it will instantly do this. So this was the best solution for it to stay put where I wanted it, out of the way, uh, tucked in there, everything else connected in place. Uh, this thing is still closed because I don't have uh, yet hot water. Yes, this is connected to hot water. Okay, so to hold this thing in place, made a strap from a wristband from a bunch of years ago, who knows what exactly it was for. Silicone, punched some holes uh, with a hole punch or hole cutter, I'm not sure how that's called. It has a hole in it, you hammer it and uh, this is the result. So I'm going to put it onto this thing and with one of these screws that goes into this type of holes, left over from other furniture, I'm going to find an appropriate hole to hold this in place, pr presumably right here. So uh, the whole weight doesn't only stay on this thing when this is filled with water because, uh, make no mistake, that will get filled with water. And this is the end result. Doesn't seem to be moving anywhere. So hopefully it will not uh, pull this thing down when it gets filled with water because this silicone uh, will hold it in place. And 
also allow it to move so it's not fixed. Hopefully all will be good when we start the dishwasher. So having added that thing, I needed to also add some deep zip ties right in there because I'm installing this uh, garbage bin and they were rubbing on the back of this which needs to move freely. So now those hoses are not going anywhere for sure. Okay, a bunch of time later getting ready to also attach this thing because at the moment there is nothing in here found these things which are some rollers from an old printer removed the metal from inside and they fit perfectly on these screws which I'll be putting in there and in theory the rubber let me show you will go in there yes it's a bit bigger which is exactly what I want but I can squeeze it in there and then this will be locked in this direction even more than it is now with uh, those things and it's done but as you could see I was able to crack the plastic because the rubber was a bit too wide the diameter was a bit too big but anyway it's in there and it's doing the job so if you do this like I did it use a rubber that slides into that hole quite easily so yeah that sounded a bit weird <laughs> but anyway one step closer to using this thing obviously do that on the other side too Next thing that I need to do, let's put back uh, this thing that I ripped out of there uh, without knowing that I shouldn't actually. Uh, hopefully I can get it in now that's all closed in here because if not this would be quite embarrassing to, to take out. Oh man. Okay. Please go in there. Okay, I'm going to stop filming so I can push without uh, damaging it. That would be really bad. So don't get that out. Just just as an idea, this uh, unlocks if you just pull hard enough on it. I think. Does it? Yeah, it, it is unlocking if you yank it hard, hard enough. Ah, but again, I need two hands. Anyway, don't 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 do what I did now. It's out. So it, it obviously unlocks. You you can pull the lever and unlock this thing, but you shouldn't unlock it from there. That that's bad. That's a bad thing that I did. Ah, let me try and put it back in there. And it's in, and I don't want to be doing that ever again so do not get this thing out this is uh, openable just by pulling on the door itself so it will unlock from here this is just spring loaded you do not need to get it out of there that's ah, that's factory installed and should stay there I I thought it's only for, for transport I was wrong and now it's working at, as it was always intended to. With this in here and that in there. But hey, live and learn and do stupid stuff to learn. Who knew that this is the closing mechanism for these things? Getting ready for the first power on removed the bottom tray you simply slide it out when the door is completely flat it slides onto the door and then you pick it and uh, carry it away so let's give it its first power on and this should be the first power on and if i'm not mistaken this is or this one one of these two is the cells uh, warning we need to fill up the salt uh, reservoir with dishwasher salt so let's do that with this thing need to undo that eh, that's the sign this one right here the higher one because it's the same in there so we need to undo the cover 
fill it with water just the first time when we use it because there's no water in this for transport obviously so we need to fill this with water first before putting salt in compartment is full move this thing around just to make sure everything goes in there and when you remove it make sure no salt, uh, salts remain around it wash the the funnel itself and put in the cover and make sure it's screwed in properly so no detergent can get in this compartment and that's about it and now I'm going to do a hardness test so I know uh, what setting to, to input in this thing and as you can see that sign disappeared because now it has salts next I'm setting the hardness of the water so I bought a water hardness test and I'm going to follow its instructions you need to get one or uh, obtain the value from your water provider uh, the hardness but I'm using this test okay did the test as you can see uh, at the time that were, they were saying at one minute two of them were colored and the third one uh, starting to color now it's getting colored more but I am somewhere at this point between 12 and 25 which is uh, French degrees so I'm somewhere around here at level 3 which seems to be normal water so yep that's good we are okay at this point I'm going to set level 3 for water hardness by following the, the manual okay let's set level 3 so come on longer power it on power it off Hold this for 5 seconds until it beeps. Is it not beeping? Okay, so this need to be done really fast. So on, off and then press it. Wait, what? It did it off camera. On, off press it it beeped at us no it's at level 3 default which is exactly what I need here level 3 so at this point from from this in theory you can change it but I don't need to change it let me do that again because it seems it comes out of that menu quite quickly so you don't uh, do it by mistake from this you can change the number as you can see but we are going back to 3 and now we press power and it's saved so now we have level 3 saved could have been 4 or 5 but it's no need so that's about it at this point powering on this for 3 seconds to tell it uh, it has one of these ok as you can see that's on I'm going to grab this thingy, press on this button and set it in there and close it and no uh, rinsing or whatever it's called agent for the first wash doesn't make any sense yes I will rearrange the, the stuff in here a tiny bit presumably and obviously put the tray in next okay put the tray back in as you can see it has some limits right here so you don't take it out by mistake but obviously you can lift it uh, this has to be in here because it helps uh, clear the plastic in there and you simply slide it in place and I think this presumably fits better somewhere in here I think I'm not sure where you are supposed to put it we will learn that later and in theory everything is okay I will use uh, the echo uh, economic program that's okay and uh, they are not half load for the first wash let's uh, leave it to doing it normally and in theory it started doing its thing so I just wait I can hear water in it so it's working the electro valve is buzzing 
and I can feel this vibrating so hot water is going inside of it which is perfect if you ever wonder if it's doing something or not you can see the reflection of the LEDs in the protection foil right here just finished the program and as you can see it's slowly opening the door for us and in theory uh, now it starts that uh, uh, I don't know drying with free air but obviously everything that is coming now from here is uh, quite warm the, the, the steam but it's not visible steam but I can feel the moisture getting ready for the first uh, wash cycle close this thing up not sure if I uh, respected everything uh, that they say in the manual but we will learn over time so let's close this thing up my father pointed out that the forks in this area were upside down so they were protruding through this hole holes many of them on the other side so those holes there was a risk of this thing hitting them during the wise uh, wash cycle so turn them uh, the other way around and we forgot to put some uh, rinse liquid so we will be putting that in now my wife trying to pour the liquid and now I'm trying to pour the, the rinse liquid because the bottle is 100% full so it's not uh, flowing properly Hopefully it will not impact uh, the dishwasher, the fact that we poured some directly in. And we are at max, so this will be closed, as you can see it's sealed. But uh, yeah, we have a, a bit of it in here. Live and learn. Anyway, let's close this up now. In theory this time everything should be good, hopefully. Power it on and uh, we will be using another program let me see so not echo mode we will be using program number two this is on and uh, let me just double check to make sure everything is okay but hopefully i only press this and all goes well yep everything should be good we are not quite half load and we put a full pill because i don't think you can split this pill power on close the door and as we can see from the LEDs in here it has begun to do an experiment I'm adding something else once this has already begun the process so let's see how it deals with it continue close and it should continue after about 10 to 20 seconds it is continuing but be careful about doing this because if you do this at the end close to the end of the program obviously it will not get washed and that's about it first time washing with this thing it is clean the dishes are clean uh, it was showing me something in here but the, the second I tried to show you uh, it went away probably it was showing that it was still a bit warm fully dried up and now I will uh, just check them and see if anything remained on them because I have no idea on this I know for a fact that uh, dried stuff was on it and nope nothing left so yeah <laughs> it cleaned it that's about it what had some other dry stuff on it this no not really this one had some dry stuff on it nope nothing left that's default <laughs> for it so yep this thing cleans and cleans really really well so that's the end of the video if you have any questions we will obviously continue to use this daily feel free to ask in the comments check out my other even ikea related video videos forgot to tell you one thing 
this should be checked to see if any debris were left in there and these things were stuck in there so you need to obviously throw them away the rest of it it was uh, ground up and disposed of it with the dirty water and as always see you in the next one bye